presented by Private Internet Access. Welcome back to We Are All Satoshi. It is coming toward the end of November. And our guest in the studio today is none other than Christian Junge from Madonna. Welcome here, Christian. Yes, thanks for the invitation. How did you get into cryptocurrency? What's your story? I heard first in 2013 about Bitcoin. Uh, I can tell you how it was exactly. I was studying with a good friend of mine um, in civil law. It was the exam period. He came into uh, my room and said, Christian, did you ever heard of Bitcoin? And I said, come on. Okay, give it a try. What is it? And he said, it's about $70 and there's a coin. It's, 70. it's $70, yeah. yeah. And it's virtual. And he told me, I read it in blocks and so on. And we have to, to get more into the space. The technology is blockchain technology. It's very awesome. And I said, mm, it's a bit dirty. It's a bit scammy. I don't know what it is. Come on, let's do our, our career here at university and so on. But um, yeah, then I gave it a try. I did not invest in $70 Bitcoin, but uh, my friend stopped and dropped out of university mm. and got directly into the scene. Um, but I, I did a good thing. The whole time I was in the scene. And um, yeah. one year later, um, he told me, come on, blockchain technology is so powerful. And I got more into, into the technology, into the details, and I got it directly. So um, we met also with Max Kodak. The creator ah, of, Lisk, of yeah. Lisk, yeah. And we started together in Aachen, where we studied um, with one of the first uh, Bitcoin meetups in whole Germany. Oh, so it was, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So we created it, but we thought, come on, let's also do an association next university because Aachen is one of the technology hotspots mm -hmm. also. Um, but it was like, hey, guys, you're doing darknet stuff and it's not like uh, a brand new technology for the future. But we thought otherwise. And therefore, we, yeah, fair, we fair enough. But I mean, I don't know anybody where the penny dropped immediately. Like it took me well over several ye several weeks just thinking about Bitcoin to understand why it's revolutionary. And that's when I first heard about it. It was well below a, a dollar. And well, then I remember crazy. seeing this slash dot story saying Bitcoin hits dollar parity, and I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. And then so that sort of goes, co the cogs sort of wind in the back of your head for a while, right? And then it goes to $2, $3, $4. And, and it's like, why is this? What, 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 what's the story here? And so you start digging. So, yeah, I don't know anybody who was just jumped head first. As in, they did their due diligence, just like you did. Yes, it was the same in my story. So I started to, to went more into the details and... Um, on my 21st birthday, this friend who brought me more into the space um, gave me a present on a golden USB stick with my first Bitcoin. So it was, it was awesome. Well, not a whole Bitcoin, but it was a part of it. And I was so proud because it was the best and amazing uh, um, present I ever had. It was a golden USB stick, my first virtual cryptocurrency. And it was the best thing ever happened. So my whole career, my whole studies, I studied entrepreneurship and finance. Uh -huh. So I went into the scene out of a finance view. Um, from this, I changed. It's more broad, but um, yeah, I started to think about how we can um, get unbanked people also. Yeah, with yeah, I know, right? Once sector. you start going down this rabbit hole, you have no idea how deep, deep it goes, do you? Yes, this is. So do you also come from the side that you know how the central banking system works and so you saw this in contrast? Yes, that's it. So I studied also uh, in Madrid and Spain. I studied um, ECB politics um, and so on. So I know the regulatories yeah. and therefore... Mario Draghi is printing 60 billion, 60 billion euros a month extra at present, down from 80. So I saw directly that cryptocurrencies in general are so powerful. And blockchain technology is disrupting many other things in this traditional world. And that was the thing I brought more into it. So it was, it was amazing. Awesome. Let's get back to what more things than currency, the blockchain technology yes. will disrupt in the next segment. 